Hello, hello, Mana here, and welcome to the demo for A Twisted Tale. Discover a humoristic point-and-click adventure inspired by all the masterpieces which made us stick to our computers back in the day. So says the Steam description. And yeah, that's about all I know. Uh, just a random Steam demo, just been, you know, browsing them, downloading some, and yeah, this is what I'm playing. Don't really have anything else to say. Uh, just uh, hope you're all doing well, and jump in, have some fun. Yeah, I, I, I don't know, just looked right. I like the art style, point-and-click's fun sometimes, and... Yeah, that, that's really about it, so. Uh, also, this is really bothering me that it's not centered. <laughs> uh, way more than it should, but we won't worry about that. Warning, this is a gameplay demo. There isn't a big story or complicated puzzle waiting, waiting here for you. In fact, no puzzle at all. Instead, you will get a first impression of the vision of how Twisted Tale is going to be. Little errors may be included. Play on your own risk. Play on? Play at? Hmm, anyway. Have fun exploring, and thank you very much for playing. Oh, and there are 23 hidden homages of reference to famous point-and-click adventures. Can you find them all? Probably not. I'm... Yeah, that's just not the kind of thing I remember. Stuff very... Yeah. Yeah, not gonna happen. Ooh, a knick-knack store. That reminds me of the old days, when Grandma used to take me to those rancid dollar shops. Knick-knack store? Rancid? I resent such terminology. Uh, sorry. Antiques! These are antiques. Precious, rare, unique pieces. Carefully selected by none other than me, personally. And offered to the public for purchase. For a small contribution, of course. I didn't mean to be rude. And that means, do not touch anything. No touching, nothing, absolutely nothing. Just look with your eyes. Do you understand that? Yes, of course. Excellent. <sighs> this guy doesn't seem to be the most relaxed sort. Let's look around a bit. But we'd better not touch anything. We don't want the poor fellow to have a heart attack and end up with me being wanted for murder. You know, like in the pilot of a streaming series or something. Okay. Uh, gotcha. Kind of want to adjust the volumes. Uh, or not. Can we not do that? Because I feel like the voice needs to be a bit higher. Uh, okay, made some adjustments. Uh, there's only like three levels, which I find a little bit awkward. Uh, it's only like, yeah, end, middle, other end. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I described that very well. Uh, yeah, so can't actually control the volume too well, but not a big deal. Anyway, let's take a look around. Oh, okay. Brochures. Huh. Can I take one of these? But of course. However, only one per person. They are free. Thanks. Man, that mustache movement's crazy. Also didn't realize it would be fully voice acted, so that's pretty cool. A ballpoint pen. Can I have that too? No. For short term use only. Not for takeaway. Huh. Okay. Normally, there is something extraordinary here. But, given the current circumstances, I thought it appropriate to provide a little promotional material. Fair enough. Hey, a coin! Uh, I think, yeah, it wasn't, wasn't the pattern asking, but sure. A diamond ring. Wow, that's really a big diamond. Real and real cursed. Cursed? Natural! Original engagement ring of a zombie pirate! One of a kind, rare, valuable. The distinctive inherent smell is unmistakable and not a sign of inferior quality, but a sign of authenticity. Mm, whatever you say, buddy. All right, what else we got going on around here? An oversized arrow. I guess it's supposed to make sure you don't miss the table. Well, that's accomplished. Genuine, handmade, not for sale. Okay. An oversized arrow. I guess it's genuine. Okay, didn't know if that'd be different things. All right. There is a fair bit we can click on. Full voice acting. I like the art style. A lot of positives so far. Uh, that streaming line sort of didn't hit for me, but other than that. Looks like an advertising poster with a pirate. Not a replica. Remnant of an old hotel on a Caribbean island. The poster says... 
Grog, more than a soft drink. Now also available in the following flavors. Diet Grog, Cherry Grog, Grog Classic, Caffeine-Free Grog, Near Grog, a non-alcoholic variant, and Light Grog. Wait, it also says something in small underneath. Contains kerosene and battery acid. Wait, what? Battery acid? A national drink. Okay. <laughs> there is still something there. Caution, eat contents quickly. Otherwise, eats through cup bottoms. No liability, all rights reserved. Delicious. Huh. Delicious indeed. Mm-mm. Delicious kerosene. Uh, yeah, that's not questionable or anything. Okay, we do actually have a fair bit here. Let's see what else we've got going on. A small picture. It shows the Earth. Behind it, the sun slowly rising. An original. Artist is a certain Orion bee. A face. A tofu face. Snapshot taken by a nature photographer for a report. Very rare. Yeah. I'm not quite sure what I'm looking at. A self-portrait of a certain F. Wildly. On the back is written, For my best friend, Drew Blank. Yeah, a lot of these references, they're just going to go over my head. So I'm, I'm just going to enjoy it for what it is. And that's, um, yeah. A self-portrait dedicated to a Dr. F. Edison, supposedly the father of the artist. A dog. Somehow the picture looks familiar. Fits in any living room from the estate of an elderly lady. Okay. Can we actually walk around? Oh, yeah, we can. I didn't know if it only walked when you know, we actually clicked on something. That's cool. Can we go off the screen? No? Almost. Okay. Boxes. No labels. Do not touch! What's in there? Nothing. Nothing? Nothing. You sell empty boxes. I prefer the name cardboard. They are antique. Do not touch. Yeah, I'm liking the voice acting so far too. So good stuff, good stuff. Uh, what have we not clicked on? Clicked on all those ones. An old TV with a game console. This is really retro. A real gem, isn't it? What is on the game console? A nice adventure game with comic art. But the puzzles? Phew, very illogical. You die a lot. Have you tried it? Of course. Finished it? No, I didn't get past the mouse cage. I'm missing the walkthrough. Yep, there's a reference straight over my head, I'm sure. What else we got going on here? Oh, there's like a whole bunch of things to click on. Oh, so we've got the dummy, got the jacket, scarf. All right. A tailor's dummy. It's not exactly very modern what it's wearing. Then again, modern things have no place in an antique store. That's true. True. An old jacket. My grandma used to wear one of those every day. Real vintage. 1996. Originally from the USA, imported to France. A red scarf. Once belonged to a well-known hero in search of a better life. <sighs> that sounds romantic. Did he save someone? Yes and no. Did he find the better life then? Yes and no. And he's still a hero? But of course. Uh, also, yeah, I thought something else seemed a bit off there. It says scrap. <laughs> Little typo. Not a big deal, though. How about the hat? A hat? Looks like it's from a magician's costume. Original piece from 1994. Guaranteed not a replica. Very expensive. Okay. Well, the... No, can't click that one. A picture. Very orange and yellow. Looks exotic. Part of an original rug of exotic origin. Sold to me by a man named Brian 2000. Uh, okay. A bottle in which there is a small model ship. An original item from a Caribbean restaurant. Especially popular with pirates. May have traces of chicken feathers. Okay. A chandelier. It looks like it used to hang in an old pirate's nest. It did. A sign. It says, touching forbidden. And underneath in small letters, touching obligates to purchase. No exception. Hmm. Exactly. Okay. All right, what are we... I want to see if make sure I didn't miss anything. Oh, we didn't click the table, I don't think. 
Normally, there is something extra. Oh, we did. I, I thought that little label. Okay, so we did click that. Okay. Can't click those ones. Can't click those. Chewing gum? A chewing gum machine. As a child, I used to search the street for pennies on my way home from school, just to throw them into the nearest chewing gum machine. You always had a choice between half fossilized gum from three generations ago or a real porous junk toy. I always preferred the chewing gum. Fully functional. However, it only contains chewing gum. Ah, what a rip. An armor. It looks very well preserved. Must be very precious if it's an original. Originates from the liquidation of a Parisian junk store. The owner is a distant acquaintance. Hmm, sure he is, buddy. An oval picture. I think it's a portrait. Of course it's a portrait. It shows a face, two eyes, mouth, and nose. What else would it be? A gramophone. Basically the primeval dinosaur of Bluetooth speakers. Just without Bluetooth, and without power, and without speakers. And not quite as handy. It comes with a record. Beethoven. Ooh. Sonata 12 in A-flat major. Uh-huh. Funeral march. Oh. <laughs> a painting. It shows a dog. The artist claims that it is a humanoid version of a dog that he encountered in a cartoon-like second reality. Clearly attributed to surrealism. A sign. I can't read the inscription. And it's not your business either. Okay, so I would say so far, like, just clicking around this, it doesn't really give you much to go of in terms of what this game is going to be or what it's about. But I, I will say the production value is really solid so far. Like, I, th I think any sort of point and click that kept up this type of thing, yeah, it'd be good. I, I think the voice acting is good. I, I know, I, I like it. Yeah, something about it. A rubber chicken. Includes a carabiner hook. Original piece from the 90s. A wooden tripod. Does not look very special. Excuse me? French origin from the year 1996. A diamond is said to belong to it. Unfortunately, untraceable until today. Probably an unknown private possession. A doll made of cloth. It has only embroidered eyes, but otherwise no face. A voodoo doll. Needles only available at extra cost. <laughs> okay. Clock. I am not sure if this is the right time. Of course it is. Uh, okay. Uh, so what do we got? Well, I think we've only got here left, right? Oh no. Some weird decorative orbs. <laughs> Hand-woven voodoo orbs made from natural hair. Each piece is unique and highly exotic. Connoisseurs would notice right away. Uh, what about the bell? Oh yeah. A little bell. Strange. Although the door opens outward, I could swear that the little bell rang when I entered the store. Not for sale. Latest generation. Powered by solar energy. Registers every new customer, even without mechanical bells and whistles. Cool. Hmm, questionable. <laughs> uh, I guess let's take a look at some dishes. Dishes. Vases. Plates. More vases. Ah, reminds me of Grandma. All precious one-of-a-kind pieces. Terribly fragile. Okay, Mr. Movie Mustache. Let's see what else is there. The leather jacket and me. Or how I learned to love Atlantis by S. Hapgood. Sounds like a romantic comedy. It is a classic. And galactic burgers and other intelligent tests. Author Wilbur Retelling. A kind of cookbook. Interesting. Okay. I think that was all one row then. So wait, do we click on books or more books? Oh, books. Let's see. Puzzle Smurther. Translated, Death's Messenger. Author S. Gordon. Hmm. And here, the Papa Pichu Bush and other curiosities from Plunder Island, an anthology. Interesting. Hmm. Very good, very good. I think that's actually everything, is it? Signpost? Wait. Oh, that's them. Okay. Uh, no clicky there. I guess we haven't actually clicked him, have we? He's talked plenty, but we haven't actually clicked him. 
Uh, any little things? Oh. Oh no, can't click on the giant tooth. That's totally normal. Uh, I think we got everything. Nice shop. Excuse me. No. It is an excellent store. Each unique piece under this roof is its own treasure. I sell only originals. Connoisseurs travel from far and wide to purchase my unique pieces. That sounds impressive. My clients include the creme de la creme of the upper class. How many customers do you get in a year? Well, you so... Well, so you could say... Well, so sometimes, uh, at least, so... So, no one? The road is very long. The clientele is very busy. But you just said... What's the point of this line of questioning anyway? Who are you? Somebody from the Consumer Protection Agency? The Antique Sales Department? Uh, oh. Okay, we have options, okay. Wasn't expecting that after just, okay. Uh, I am VA. Let's go with that. I am Vio. Please spare me the long monologue about your biography now. I don't want to know where you came from, nor why you have come here of all places to steal my time. Do you intend to buy something? Not really. I don't have any money with me. And if I'm honest, I don't really know what I'm doing here. <sighs> why don't you say it right away? So you studied philosophy? Well, short of money and these constant why questions about the here and now, existence... Um... I knew right away I wanted to make something better out of my life. So why are you selling old stuff? Don't you dare! Old stuff? This shop is a treasure trove! A refuge of precious antique pieces! Valuable treasures, silent witnesses of significant history. So, in summary, old junk. Rarities from better times. Each unique piece is an irrevocably precious relic of inestimable value. The state of preservation of my antiques is legendary and the rarity value undisputed. Each of these pieces of jewelry has been manufactured to a very high standard, mostly by hand. All right, all right. Any connoisseur would be awestruck when viewing this invaluable collection. However, this requires appropriate expertise in order to correctly assess age, originality, and provenance, which you obviously lack. Yeah, yeah. Man, he's got a lot of words, doesn't he? Uh, I would say it is, it is impressive seeing this fully voice acted, because I can see this being something that isn't voice acted. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know, production value is definitely, uh, really solid so far. Um, oh, okay, that was... I thought that was going to another line, but I guess we can just choose other things. Well, he, he said all of that because we said our name. <laughs> uh, these brochures. These brochures. Only one per person. They are free. Nice, isn't it? Uh, yes. What's that all about? What do you mean? Well, why are there brochures for an indie game lying around an antique shop? Are they antique too? <laughs> of course not. You like to joke, don't you? Uh, is that a trick question? Considering the... circumstances, what else should I have put there? The preciousness that ultimately matters? Please, that would have taken away the special charm of the whole thing. I don't really understand. Should I have left the table empty instead? How absurd would that be? And the beautiful signs? Remodeling half the interior just for... For that? I don't earn enough for that. Do you know how much effort that would take? No, no. Keep the brochure and enjoy it. And if you're particularly nice, visit the website or leave a comment on Twitter. Website? Twitter? Twistedtail.de Or, attention, now it gets particularly creative, at Tail Twisted. Isn't that a nice pun? Twisted like that. Uh... <sighs> okay, <laughs> fair enough. Advertisement for the game, which, yeah, okay. <laughs> um, 
Um, I'm from the antique sales department, sure. Um, from the antique sales department? Impossible. Yes, as I stand here. Impossible. Such a prestigious body as the official antique sales department would never, and I emphasize, would never, and I emphasize, never, employ such a cretin, let alone send them here. A cretin? Cretin! You Philistine! There you go. Philistinette, if anything. So you don't believe me? Let's not get stuck on quibbles. No, I don't believe you. And you are a very bad liar. Hmm, is that right, buddy? From consumer protection, right? I'm here for an examination. From consumer protection. Right, I'm here for an examination. Certainly not. Pardon? Certainly not. I have only recently corresponded with the lady from this office. So? And I was assured that there was no reason to complain. No usury, no hidden extra charges. I'm a clean businessman. And you... Yes? ...are an exceedingly bad liar. Thanks. Well, how rude. Uh, I'll, um, look around some more. I'll, um, look around some more. If you must. But please, don't touch anything! We only look with our eyes, not our hands. <sighs> of course. Hi, hi. Uh, well... Do we leave? <laughs> I think we've, like, covered the store, right? Can we leave? I guess not. Uh... Nice shop. Excuse me? No. It is an excellent store. That sounds... Im My clients include... How We've been through that. Uh, the road... But you... What's the... Okay. Well, we went through all them. It didn't lead to anywhere. I'll... If... Don't tell uh, me... Uh... Is there something I missed? Oops. Looked An off the screen. Genu um. A diamond. Real. Natural. I'm not sure what to do now. Is there something. Something new we can observe? Observe? Observe. I know words, don't mind me. Hmm. Normally, there is something extraordinary here. But. Uh. I don't know. Is there something... I did go through all the conversation options, right? And we can't definitely can't click on any of these. I see you, little spider. Oh! Oh! A I see. Brochure. Hmm, let's see. It says, a twisted tale. Discover a humorous point-and-click adventure game inspired by all the masterpieces that kept us glued to the PC back in the day and why we played far too little outside. Full of quirky characters, unexpected twists, and challenging puzzles. Hey, that sounds pretty neat. Hmm. Explore broken cities, pirate ships in the deepest jungles, and other unreal places. Stand by her as she makes acquaintance with the depressive death and engage in many explicit and ambiguous allusions, homages, and references to the great classics of past and not-so-past times. Wait, her? Who is she? Huh, never mind. Seems like some kind of indie game anyway. Okay. <laughs> On the front, it has a wand. On the back, a parrot, a skull, and a hand. Creative. Okay, very good. Can we use that coin in some way? Is that a thing? Oh yeah, I guess we can... Maybe? What the hell would we use the coin with, though? No, i better leave that. Hmm, fair enough. Uh... Maybe you. No, i better leave that. Okay, fair enough. Oh, the gum machine. That would be the thing, would it not? That should work. Oh, now don't get stuck. I feel like I should have figured Yay, that out a bit quicker. A chewing gum. <laughs> I beg you, a little more composure. Oh, of course. Yes. Uh, why? <laughs> uh, okay. A chewing.
chewing gum machine. I always prefer fully functional. Yep, same there. Okay. Uh, it's about all I can think of. Nice shop. Excuse me. No, it isn't. That's how many? Well, so the road. Okay. What's the? I wouldn't mind like a maybe the text being slightly grayed or faded if you've already read it. Maybe it's always a good thing. I think. Uh, okay, I didn't open up anything new. I am... Please, but not... <gasps> why don't... Uh, I... So why are you... Don't you... So... All right... Any... Yeah. I'll... If you... Don't touch it! We only look... <sighs> hmm, I don't know if this is like... Because it... It did sort of say at the beginning, sort of, it's just showing the idea of it and stuff, basically. But, but is this it? Like, is there something I've missed? Like, or... Is it sort of just this is the demo? Hmm. We can't seem to see anything further. Uh. Okay, I was looking around for a minute and then it just clicked to me. I didn't actually check the inventory. <laughs> and we actually did get chewing gum. Do not even think about it! Ah, uh, okay. Chewing gum. It says something. Admiral Sweetum's chewing gum. The original. Chewing gum with chewable steak flavor. Flavor sirloin. Well, yummy. Sort of. <laughs> uh, Do not even think about it! Chewing gum. It says something. Okay. Can we do anything more with it? Chewing gum. Do not even think about it! Okay. I don't know if it's like... Do not even think about it! He doesn't seem to be a fan of the chewing gum. Do not even think about it! I mean... I, don't, I, don't, I can't think of anything here you would do that with, but... Hmm... Spider? <laughs> Dishes? Boxes? Do not even think about it! Okay... Hmm... I really cannot figure out what to do next. Like, I, I can't find anything that we can use this on. What about the pen? It's still... It's, uh, I'll borrow oh. it sometime. Oh. Oh. You discovered everything this gameplay demo had available for. Yes, really. If you like this little first peek of a twisted tale, then listen to the shopkeeper and visit the Twitter account or the website. But you can also use the vintage way and visit our bulletin board. Did you discover all 23 homage... Homages? Homages? And references to the great olden old point and click that classics tell us about them or puzzle with others okay oh you can still all right yeah i was a bit uh i don't know that pen kept standing out to me but i realized i hadn't actually clicked on it again but then i didn't expect it just to end but i guess it's like the demo doesn't have a specific end point it just ends once you've done everything i assume so yeah i guess that's the demo i did get stuck there a couple of times but yeah, I don't know. Um, as said um, a little bit ago, I, I think it's, it sort of remains the fact that it doesn't really give you too much to go off in terms of a demo, in terms of giving you any idea of what this is about. But I would say it does sell itself in terms of showing its production value. So, I don't know, I guess depending on what you're looking for in a game, I guess it's good or bad. Um, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that as a demo, though. Like... I enjoyed it, like it was a cool little experience, and I said I really do think the production value's there. I think the voice acting's good, I like the art style. Uh, like I think all that's a winner, but if you do want to sell someone on a game, it, it feels a little weird not getting, you know, anything story-wise at all, in, in any shape or form, basically. Uh, so yeah, I don't know how much that'll sell people on the game, other than if they just generally like the vibe of it, which I don't know. Like I said, it's more, I'm just sort of thinking in general. On a personal level, I, I don't really care that much. Like, I, you know, it was interesting to check out, but you know, I'm just thinking about, like, demos and their purpose. I I don't know if it needs a little more, even though, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Might be overthinking a bit. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I, I guess it's got, without having a bit more to it, it feels more like a prototype, in a sense. Like, you're sort of just showing the mechanical side of it and a bit of how it is, which more than what I think a demo usually shows you a bit more of what it's going to be about. As I said, I, I might just be overthinking this point. Overall, uh, it 
you know, production value is good and good vibes from it, that kind of thing. So, yeah. Um, I, I think the main thing with it that I'm, I'm probably said, I might be overthinking it, but I think the reason I'm getting a little bit stuck on the whole, the way it is as a demo is because as cool as it is, I feel like I would easily forget about this. You know, like currently it says the release date is September the 2nd, 2022. So we're talking like, you know, well, the better part of a year. And I, I feel like for me, without any story or anything to really hook me in beyond the production value, I would easily forget about this by then. And I, I can almost guarantee I will. Whereas if there was a bit more there to hook me in, I feel like I'd be more likely to follow it more and stuff. I, I don't know. I mean, it's definitely sold me on the production values, but yeah, without getting to know the character a little, without some story set up, without just something that sort of makes me want to pull forward and play it more, I feel like I'll just forget about this too easily. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I said, keep repeating myself. I said, I think I'm overthinking it, but yeah, I don't know. Just trying to give some final thoughts here. Overall, it was an enjoyable experience, so yeah. I'll leave it there. Um, just thank you very much for watching. If you want to check it out yourself, uh, I'll have links in the description. It's available on Steam. And yeah, I don't know. I recommend adding it to your wish list if you do like it, because it does help. And probably good if you are like me and we'll forget about things. Uh, but yeah, just uh, thank you again very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And let me know if you have suggestions on any other demos to check out. And yeah, other than that, hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And see you in something else soon. Bye bye.